Hi guys, I'm back today with a new Cancer And video. If you didn't know what Cancer And is, it is a mini series I have started on my channel talking about my experience of having cancer and living with it, for example, cancer and food, cancer and being bald, etc. So today's subject is going to be cancer and being a teenager. So I was diagnosed with cancer when I was just 16 years old. It was actually on the day of prom that I was diagnosed, which is kind of depressing. So I had just finished my exams and then I was planning to go on to college. And yeah, so basically I had these like three months where I was free, didn't have to go to school, and it was going to be amazing and I could like do what I want. Obviously that was all taken away from me after being diagnosed with cancer. And those three months turned into two years up until now. Uh, I'm still living with cancer and I don't know how much longer I will be living with cancer. Hopefully soon I will be in remission, but you don't know. Uh, it's cancer and it's something that can go on forever. So yeah, back to being a teenager. So the first thing I want to say is that usually when you're a teenager you start to experiment. It's the time in your life when you start to experiment with alcohol, smoking, um, you kind of get the gist, I suppose. When I was first diagnosed, um, it was absolutely awful. Um, I was in hospital, in and out of hospital for, I would say, a good seven months, and then things started to sort of calm down. But the first, uh, I would say, five months were extremely intense, and my whole life just did a 360 and turned into hell. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest, I would go onto Instagram, and I would see people that I knew and basically them going to festivals or going on holiday, having a nice time when basically my life was on the line. And I have to be honest, that was extremely difficult for me to deal with because I felt jealous. I questioned why it was me with the cancer. I would smoke certain things or take certain things. Now, first of all, that's incredibly stupid to do. But the thing with me is that it would be stupid for me to do it anyway, but it would be even more stupid for me to do it with cancer. So like, even if I wanted to experiment with those certain things, um, it would just be the most stupid move I could possibly do. Basically, my teenage years, um, you know, were just not normal. They weren't what, you, what you're meant to do as a teenager, which is, you know, go out, have fun, and, you know, meet people, go to university, have college. Um, it's just, my life really has just been cancer, you know, for the last uh, nearly two years. And it is, you know, people may wonder, like, how I felt and stuff, and as I said, like, I just felt really, really awful, upset, jealous, and kind of, like, I think I got, like, a little bit obsessed with this whole subject because I wanted to know what it was like to have that freedom, where I didn't have that freedom and I was, you know, uh, stuck to a drip or something was being put into me or whatever, um, you know, just being dosed up with drugs to the point where I can't even remember. And I have been dealing with depression and I'm sure that is no surprise to any of you, but this depression isn't about having cancer, it's about basically mourning the two years that I haven't had. I spoke to my counsellor and she said that this is very normal, that actually you do mourn the time that you never had and you sort of look back and think, well I'm never going to be 16 again and I'm never going to be 17 again. And it's really difficult. My life until recently, uh, very recently, has, you know, been hospital and drugs, not those type of drugs, um, and, you know, it, and it's just been ex an extremely painful experience, um, and especially, you know, seeing people having fun, and you, and as I said, the, like, the only word I can describe, um, is being jealous. People say that I'm extremely mature for the age of 18 and that's the other thing. Um, to be honest, uh, I am and I think since having cancer my mindset is actually many years older than I actually am and sometimes it can be like difficult to like connect with people and I tend to get along with adults like a lot more and please don't think that I'm saying that 
like in a pretentious way or like oh all my friends are too immature or anything because it's not like that at all but I, I've just now found that actually sometimes it's kind of easier just for me to speak to people who are a little bit older that that sounds really bad and um and, it, and it's not like that but I just sometimes find it easier but yeah so basically dealing with cancer at any age sucks obviously um I would say um obviously suffering with cancer at a young age has you know been incredibly difficult the same as it would be for an older person but you know especially as this is kind of like the limelight of your life kind of you know being a teenager and not really having much responsibility I think that's what I'm trying to say and you know that time has kind of passed and I hope that before I, you know, need to start being mature and, you know, thinking about practical things like what I want to do in life and things like that, it's, it's just, I hope that I can get those two years back eventually. I hope that this video has been useful um, and given you a bit of an insight into what it's like and a bit more of an insight into me. So. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.